Hi folks, this is James. Say, this is how I built my um, Jeff Spire International Design catch mark. It's an 18 foot V power dory. This is a slide show presentation. And uh, this is the strong back that I use to uh, set up the uh, frames. There's the frames all cut out. And the frames mounted on the strong back. The stem attached. The chine log and the, um, <clears throat> I forget what it is called. Anyway, um, you gotta forgive my, um, I'm just holding a cell phone showing what the computer's showing at slideshow because I'm really new at trying to, um, you know, do videos on YouTube. So I have a lot of pictures and a picture is worth a thousand words. And, uh, you could pause it at any time, expand it if it helps. You can see how uh, it's made by two by fours. I use Douglas fir. The chine log and the shear, those were the longitudes opposed with the uh, the keelson on top. Yeah, the plywood's attached. I made this in my garage. And I would just roll it out when I'd worked on it. And um, at night, just rolled it right back inside. I, um, I really enjoyed working on it. And button it up the uh, the bow end to the stem, all epoxied. I use that PL um, construction adhesive you get at um, Home Depot and Lowe's. It seems to work really well. I made another bolt with it, and it worked out really good. So we put the two layers of fiberglass cloth on. And there's one layer. And um, it's just moving right along. I put the uh, splash rails in on the side to help with the spray. There's a nice picture of it. And there it is all painted up. And what do you do when you, you know, you get to this point, the paint's all cured and dried and whatnot, you ended up flipping it over. So, boy, that's the sun's on that paint. I used um, Total Bull paint. There it is, flipped over. I flipped that boat over by myself with a piece of rope, basically lifted up and heaved toe, and went over. And then I took apart, obviously, the, uh, the framing. And, um... From there, I put the uh, these dollies I made up with wheels, and it sat on that for the longest time until I got the trailer. I just wheeled it in at night and wheeled it out during the day, worked on it. There's the dolly wheels and how it looked. 18 foot right there from stem to stern. Yeah. So, um, I put a uh, 90 horse, 20 inch shaft uh, motor on there, and that's how I cut out the um, the back transom for it. And you can see me put it in the gunnels. I epoxied uh, with penetrating epoxy on the inside, and then I primed and paint the, the inside. You can see the bolt coming together. You know, when you build a bolt, and especially Jeff Spira's International, his design, you know, there's my old bolt. I don't know how that picture got in there. We're just going to have to fast forward that. There's my old bolt. That's another one I made. Is uh, I'm going to pause it right there. Um, let's go back one. That uh, This bolt here is the um, Pacific Power Dory. And uh, that's Jeff Spire's design. It's 14 foot. And um, that was a good, very good boat. I set it up to be a center console. And this is the V 
Um, it's a V Dory, Carolina Dory. Also, Jeff Spire is a design. The catch mark. And yeah, I used my uh, I used my lawnmower to get them around. But uh, so I ended up selling this boat and trailer and and everything, and and then um, I just used those dollies to to get the other boat in and out of the garage. <coughs> Yeah, and you can see the uh, the boats coming together. I uh, again put um, a sepelia, uh, which is a type of mahogany wood, in, and you can see the cabin coming together. Uh, there was no design from Jeff Spira to do the inside of the. Uh, you just set it up the way you see fit, and I wanted like a little cuddy cabin. And the roof's coming together. And the roof's on. And it's starting to come together. All mahogany. Sepelia. Mahogany. And the mahogany's done. Windows need to be put in. The hatches need to be put in. Uh, everything's, uh, all the billage area has been uh, proxied and primed in. Look at how nice that thing's shining. Yeah. These uh, sections right here are removable because you have to have access to get to the uh, electrical and and the um, the workings of uh, the boat. So I had to make them removable. And there you go, the seat. I got to put a jack plate, trim tabs. The trip tabs didn't actually work good on this boat. I ended up ultimately getting a um, hydrofoil for the uh, 90 horse Suzuki. And um, that's what I use. It's come together. I got the horn on there. And there's a nice big picture. That's the boat. She's a good running boat. She was a little, uh, you know, there was, it had issues. Uh, it had, um, it would do porpoising over 25 miles an hour, and uh, I fixed that with the hydrofoil. Uh, the uh, fuel tanks are right underneath the seat, and the battery is up in the bow. So I took as much weight off the, the stern and transom as, as possible. And let's see. Put that on auto run again. There's another picture. Uh, put obviously a bimini top on, nice little handrail. There's those trim tabs I ultimately took off. The interior, there's a main power shut off. That's what the helm looks like. That's what it looks like in the water. Yep, that's on the Halifax River. One of the little uh, barrier islands there. And uh, this is the uh, boat collar I bought from um, Captain Collar out of Australia. I was having a problem with the boat being a little tipsy. And uh, you get these foam collars, they cut in half, you glue them back together. They cut them in half for shipping purposes. And um, they give buoyancy to the uh, the boat. It um, You can see I established, I put all these aluminum brackets on. And they're epoxied on there with um, their T-Rex epoxy they give you. And um, this gives uh, the boat buoyancy and it helps it from being tippy. See, I got straps up there to hold them in place. I had to do a little cut and I uh, brazed uh, the aluminum shield there to make the corner. And uh, that's what it looked like attached. Now, you don't have to paint it. Uh, but I did just to make it a little bit nicer looks nicer could have left it the way it is no problem But um, I ended up painted it. That's the boat collar and that's what it looks like um, in the water um, That was a miracle for that boat uh, night and day difference that boat collar on that boat uh, Now I call it a little boat that acts big you can see the um, hydrofoil I got on the back it runs beautiful. Now we're back to the beginning again. And that's it. That's my presentation.
of um, 